Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying rational exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x to the negative one-half power, y to the fourth power, all to the one-fourth power, all over x to the two-thirds power, y to the three-halves power, times x to the negative three-halves power, y to the one-half power, <laughs> and we got to simplify. All right, let's get to work. We need to distribute this one-fourth power to both parts in our exponents. So we have x to the, well, negative one-half power times that one-fourth, remember we multiply the exponents here, times y to the four times the one-fourth power. The denominator here, I'm going to combine my like bases. I have x and x here. So when we combine them, remember it's all we multiply, we add the exponents. So we have 2 over 3 plus a negative 3 halves. Same thing with the y's. y here, we have 3 halves, and then we're going to add the other 1 half, like that, by combining them there. Okay? So now let's go simplify this numerator. Negative 1 half times 1 fourth, we have x to the negative 1 eighth, and 4 times, well, 4, or 1 fourth, <laughs> is just, well, 4 fourths, which is y, y to the first power. Denominator, we need to find a common uh, denominator with our fractions. So we have x now to the 4th 6 minus, same as plus a negative, 9 6, and then y, 3 halves plus 1 half is already there, that's a 4 halves. Okay. Simplify a little more. We have x to the negative one half, sorry, one eighth, oof, one eighth power, y over four six minus nine six is a five, negative five six. So we have x to the negative five sixth here, and four halves is the same thing as two, y squared. All right. Now that squared though, we can get rid of, we can get rid of that y, cancel each other out, make it easier on ourselves here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this negative exponent, x to the negative 5, 6 to the numerator. So doing that here, we have x to the negative 1 eighth times x to the positive 5, 6. Now that the numerator and our denominator still has a y in it, just one of them. From there we know we have to add our exponents, okay? So we have x to the negative 1 eighth, right? Uh, plus, uh, that's 1 eighth, not 1 half, I keep doing that, 1 8 uh, plus a uh, 5 6 an exponent over y. Finding a common denominator here is the same thing as saying x to the 20 over 24. Uh, oops, sorry. Flip my order around. Do my positive number first. It's going to be a negative. We have x negative 1 8 is a negative 3 over 24. And we're adding there a t positive 20 over 24 for the 5 6 power over y. Combining that together, 20 minus 3 is a 17. So we have a x to the 17 over 24 power. And then it's going to be all over a y. Oh, that's, oh my goodness. I, this whole problem, I've been putting the wrong thing. I say one thing, put the other. That's a y right there. Either way, though, I finally got there. I know, sometimes it's hard. And our final answer here is just x to the 17 over 24th power over y. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math.